Hello, my name is Ari Bayuaji. I'm a visual artist based in Bali and Montreal. Weaving the Ocean project started during the pandemic in Bali when Bali was shut down because of the global pandemic. There were so many people losing their job because in Bali everybody depended on tourism. Weaving the Ocean started because at the beginning I saw like so many plastic ropes and other plastic garbage along the beach and the mangrove area in Bali where I lived. So I decided just to gather them together and with the help of the community, we cleaned the plastic ropes so that everybody could get some celery, rice, cooking oil and also eggs to survive in almost two years. There were so many plastic ropes that stuck on the roots of uh, mangrove trees and I could see that the plastic ropes has so many different kind of construction of uh, plastic threads that gave me an idea that the plastic threads has so much potential that we could do for something. So at the beginning, I had no idea about weaving, but the most important thing, it was to give some jobs to the people in the community so that they can do something rather than waiting for the tourists to come back. So at the time, I just realized that the big plastic ropes that were used for fishing industries as also for to tie the boats, those kind of things, they were really beautiful inside of it. So when we see this like ugly green plastic ropes actually inside, there are so many kind of uh, smaller plastic ropes with so many different colors and again in different construction. So when I saw these pieces, I decided to unravel them one by one from the big one to the smaller ropes and then from the smaller ropes, I unraveled them until it became a very fine plastic threads. And after I collected lots of them and I showed it to the people in my community, and then we decided just to unravel many plastic ropes that we found from the beach. After we unraveled the plastic ropes to become a very fine plastic threads and then we roll the plastic threads onto a recycle bottles. The plastic ropes we found usually not that long so we had to create knots to create a very long threads and then we roll it little by little so that we can have like a good amount length of uh, plastic threads to prepare the weaving process. We are using traditional Balinese Ika technique, so it's, it's, it's quite wide. It is very complicated weaving techniques because we have so many knots so to extend the plastic threads we have to create knots one by one so sometimes the knots always stuck in the saddle of the loom so it, it make the process really long and also because we are using very fine cotton threads it's very often the plastic threads cut the cotton threads because of the the strength of the plastic threads. Usually with 
just normal woven like textile it took around one month for this length but this specific artworks actually took longer than that because for example this is made by one two three four five six seven and eight pieces so i did a lot of experimental how to present the the weaving materials and also the textile itself by creating different compositions and also using different technique of stitching and put things together this sculpture titled the rangda and this sculpture actually constructed with a wooden mask a traditional sacred balinese wooden mask and then with the hair we use thousands and thousands plastic threads that we could not use as a weaving materials because it's too thick or because it's too short so we are trying not to waste the the plastic that we could not use anymore for weaving materials so i decided to create the sculptures so with the traditional technique in bali usually they use like a fiber the plant fiber like uh, from palm trees or pandanus tree but this one i decided to to use the plastic threads it's very dramatic because we try to use many different colors and also we create hairs that much more than usual the sculptures here actually is also made of plastic so it's in the shape of the corals we decided to to melt the plastic rubbish that not only plastic groups but different kind of plastics that we melted them and then we created mold in the coral shape so that we can produce this kind of coral plastics. <laughs>